My name's Ben Axel and I'm the Chief Fire Officer of Dorset and Wiltshire Fire and Rescue Service. I've known the, uh, the winner of this award for just over two years. Chris has got a huge uh, level of experience and engagement with the Fire and Rescue Service, going back some 57 years, would you believe? And during this time, you know, the scale of his achievements are, are almost um, you know, sort of unquantifiable in terms of the, the hard work that he's put in and the direct benefit that that work has, has, uh, has resulted in through the beneficiaries of the charity. currently sat in uh, Chris's beloved fire engine, a 1943 Austin turntable ladder that the family affectionately call Martha. Martha is, is an integral part of the One All family uh, and has helped massively over the years. Chris deserves this award because his uh, encouragement and involvement in the charity has actually increased over the years. Um, I'm constantly amazed at the amount of effort and time that he commits to the charity. People like Chris are invaluable. Uh, as a service coordinator and as a station rep that I've been in the past as well, people like Chris that are prepared to give their time, give their energy, their complete support is really, really important, but it's not just about giving it it, it's the fact that they are so reliable. The fact that if you ask Chris for assistance and he says he can help, you know you can tick that off and that's done. He's entirely philanthropic in every single thing that he does. Uh, whether it be any of the charities or the church or anything else in the town, he, he gives far more than he takes. And I think Chris would take the view that's the, that's the route to a happy life. Uh, he's uh, very committed to uh, the firefighters' charities, I think two or three altogether, and makes use of his wonderful old fire engines. He's actually got three altogether, particularly Martha. Wants nothing in return, doesn't want money, doesn't want a knighthood, doesn't want anything else, doesn't want anything in return. It's just purely through the warmth of his heart uh, that he does things for his town and for the fire service and for so many other charities. He is an inspiration to all of us who work for the charity in the way that he is so dedicated. Uh, it not only devotes, he not, not only devotes time to the charity, uh, but also his personal resources. It costs money to keep those veteran fire engines on the road and legal. Uh, and although it's his hobby, I know that one of the main reasons he does it is because it gives him the opportunity using them to raise money for the firefighters charity. With the fire service charity, his connections go back to the very start of his fire service career. Um, certainly when I was little, before we had the fire engine, he borrowed the fire brigade Land Rover one Christmas and put a nativity scene on the back on the trailer and towed it round and they needed a baby Jesus so they borrowed my tiny tears doll and I was very loath to give it to him because I was only three and she was my, my best toy and so I had to go to the fire station every night to check to make sure that she was still alright. <laughs> so that's how long his association with the charity goes back. Uh, winning the award to dad will mean more than anything else in the world, um, more than a, um, an award from the Queen because it's an award from the people that he admires and respects and the people he supported all of those years. So it will mean a terrific amount to him and to the family. Because he was a fireman and you did a certain amount of uh, around the town and uh, if there was any, if we did talks or anything, the money always went into the charity because I'd used it, the charity a couple of times at the Harkham House and so had Chris so it's always been part of our lives and we always support and try to help others that need the help and I think other people then come before his family because he'll say oh we were going so and so 
we can't now, I've got to do so and so and help someone else. Even the other day, somebody had broken down in an old car and uh, he was called on to go up and see if he could help. And we were at a barbecue at the time. <laughs> Chris, as Chief Fire Officer, I'd like to thank you for all your hard work, not just for, for myself, but also for all the previous Chief Fire Officers of Wiltshire Fire Brigade and Wiltshire Fire and Rescue Service. Congratulations, Chris. Very well done. Just thank you for all of your help, all your support you've given to me, to the station and to the service. You really have worked your socks off for the town of Wooden Bass more than the else. And the townspeople and people throughout the county, and I personally, am deeply grateful to you for everything you've done over the years. Chris, I'd like to say many congratulations on the reward you're receiving. You more than deserve it. Well done, Dad. You thoroughly deserve this. You've worked so hard. I'm very proud of you. Sorry, love. Uh, you, uh, we got the urge on you for once. Makes a change. 